Hello everyone, Shroomworx here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Kerbal Space Program. Now that we've got the space lab in orbit, we can go and send Valentina and her crew to Minmus. So, we are going to select the Odin. We're gonna switch out the crew. There we go, scientists and engineer. And I'd say launch vessel. Now with the bug we've done in the last episode with the um, rigging of the fuel lines, this should be actually rather easy now. I don't have to screw around with the center stage's thrust output anymore. Speaking of which, let's set that back to 100%. I forgot to do that in the editor. So, full throttle. Everything is primed and ready. So, ignition and lift off. Lift off. Ah, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> I forgot to say that. Ah, <laughs> uh, where is it? I thought I had done that. There it is. Put that in here. If I'd have done that. Ah, well. A little fail here and there. Doesn't hurt. So, once again, full throttle, ignition, and lift off. Lift off. Lift off. No! Oh. I forgot. God damn it. Well, uh, it should work regardless. But why is the center stage losing that much fuel? I have the fuel lines primed. So why? Isn't it working as it intended? Mysteries over mysteries. It should work. It usually does work. Those boosters should feed into the center stage. Why is it not doing that? I wonder. I guess I have to screw around with the thrust limiter again. And your scent is less than graceful this time around. We are way... Way too up. It's not looking good. That costs fuel, you know. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Careful. Oh yeah, and uh, goodbye. Don't need you anymore, I think. I could be wrong. I hope I'm not. Back to 100% with you. Uh, boost the separation. For a second there, <laughs> I thought it wouldn't prime. So, what are we looking? 50 for April apps. Gonna flatten that out a little bit, and we are a little bit off course here. We should be fine though. For the most part. It's flattening out again, that's good. Up to 150 or oh, 53. You should have enough fuel in the tanks to easily get to Minmus. Ok, 
Can I use you? No? Okay. Good, let's speed that up. Shouldn't be too long until it's 70 so we can circularize. There we go. Got the circularization in. And then off to Minmus we shall go. I hope we'll be getting a um, good interception. Okay, we've got it in the middle. Estimated burn, 13 seconds. Uh, we're gonna burn at, I'd say, 6. It's a good bet. Okay, 2 minutes left. Should be okay at warp 10. Shouldn't be too fast. Okay, let's get ourselves aligned properly and off we go. Almost there. And stop. Good enough. Minmus, where are thou? Set that as target. It's coming up here, which means we're gonna burn here. At maneuver. Oh, whoa, whoa. that's a bit too much. And we've got an intercept. What are we looking? That sounds about right. It's a bit high though. Oops, that was a bit too much. Uh, you know what, we can adjust it. In time. For now, let's just get there. And it's on point. Burn time one minute, we will burn at 30 seconds. And I'm going to warp. Right there. Are we looking? Good. Warp 110, that should be good enough. Not too fast, not too slow. And... Ignition. We should be good when it comes to fuel. Might have to use the main... Uh, ship for the deceleration on Minmus, but um, since it has a lower gravity than Moon and Carbon, of course, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. I think we will have enough fuel this time around. Oh, whoa, whoa. stay on course. Stay on course, please. Stop swiveling around. Bad ship! Don't do that! Okay, how are we looking? Probably overshot. Okay, let's try to do that with RCS. Do we have RCS? No! <laughs> Cripes! 
Um, okay. Do it very carefully then. That's the wrong direction. Need to be here. That's a bit closer. Should be alright. And we still have a little bit of fuel left in the tank. Gonna keep that. Gonna open up the solar panels. So we don't run out of electricity during the journey and... I'm gonna warp us right to the insertion point. 14 days! Oh, ho ho! Oh, no, 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 not add maneuver. That's not what I wanted. I'll delete that. I wanted to warp. And we have no... connection to Kerbin. Right. I didn't send a re relay set down there. Mm. It should be alright though. I can still send one over. Not a problem. And we've got a connection with... Uh, the eye in the sky. Now oh, we're looking. 37 minutes. Up there. Okay, let's see. Oops. <laughs> that was too much. Okay. That is 54, that's actually not bad. We've got an... I'd say it is 45 degrees. Maybe a little bit more though. Still, not too bad, not too bad. Notice in two hours. Ah, not maneuver. Always click on maneuver instead of walking there. Okay, let's get ourselves lined up with the node. Two hundred and forty two point six meters per second. We should have enough fuel in the second fuel tank to make a difference. So we don't have to use too much fuel of the main ship. Estimated burn twelve seconds. We will start burning at uh, we can probably do it at 6, although the main ship is a bit slower, so I'd say we start at, let's start at 8. Okay, coming up here, 15 seconds. Two, one. Okay. Okay, 49. That's good enough. Fuel is still looking okay so far. Let's get circularized first. Won't take much fuel. Go. Walk there. Get ourselves aligned with the note. Burn time two seconds. Yeah, we can burn at zero. That should be okay. Uh, 
and there we go. Close enough. Now, where shall we land? Somewhere flat would be nice. Our orbit goes right over this part. I suppose I could try landing either up there or down there, but then we'd have to incline the orbit a bit more. How are we looking for fuel? I don't want to waste too much. Maybe it will be alright. Let's try it. First I'm gonna save though. <laughs> Just to be sure. In case something goes very, very wrong. Yeah, that should be a little bit closer it's spinning after all. Goes also lined here. And warp over. Okay, coming up in the landing zone. How are we looking? We need to get a little bit closer. That's looking good. Fuel is still looking good. We can warp a little bit. Okay, getting closer. And start with the deceleration. Altimeter says two and a half. And I think um, the flats here from Minmus are actually sea level, which is quite good. Gives me an accurate reading of the height. I'm gonna close the solar panels here, just in case. I want to lose any. If something should go wrong, which I hope <laughs> it won't. I think it's so far. Take a little bit of speed away. We don't want to crash after all. That's good enough. Get ourselves adjusted here. down. Getting closer. This is it. Final moment. Looking good. Take a bit of speed away. We're coming, coming in a little bit uh, weird. That's not too bad. We can handle that. And touchdown! Hooray! Let's get the crew report out. 
Are we connected? Yes, we are. Okay, transmit that data. Oh, we're looking here. Lux seismic data. Ooh, a hundred for recovery. Awesome. Are we looking with in this one? Collect laser data. We can send that over. I don't need you. What about this one? Uh, can't use that either. I forgot to use that in orbit. Ah, well. We still can use it when going home. Okay, how about you? Ah, right. Orbit as well. Magnetometer data! Mm-hmm. Transmit that. Gonna toggle you. Mr. Rigu! Mm-hmm. 50 for returning. Not too bad. What do we have here? Science Junior. Let's, uh, let's observe that. 125. Awesome. What do we have? Another mystery goo. Another magnetometer. And another... Oh, we have a press mat. Lock the temperature and the pressure data then. 40 signs. Not bad. Plus 60. That's 100. Ooh. And another science junior. We're gonna extend this one. Only one I don't want to extend is this one, so we retract it. I don't want to break it when I'm fiddling around with the container. So, first one to go out needs to be Tadra, because she is the engineer. So, let's get ourselves to the container. We need to set up the A-set, our little science lab. So, inventory, and inventory. I'm gonna take the screwdriver, the wrench, substation, and the girders. And, if I can, no, I can't. Okay, no problem. Let's get down here. Whoa, careful. Okay, inventory. I need the wrench. Need to bring that out. Mm. Ah, yeah. H. Good, good. And then... I think it was with the wrench, plus the stru structural girder. No? Uh -huh. R to change node. There should be a note here, unless I'm completely wrong. Oops. Maybe that was with the um, screwdriver. Yes, it was. So, and H to attach. Good. Do the same here. And we have a little tower. That's where we will put on the solar panels. Oh, too much, too much. Down. Oh, and turn on the lights. Hmm. Inventory. We're gonna... Oh, skip that over. Grab eight of them. And I'm going to need uh, the power lines. No? Okay. Can't put any experiments in. Oh, that's okay. Close that up. So I wonder, was it the screwdriver or was it the wrench? I think it was the wrench for surface attachments. 
Iya. Good. Let's open those guys up. And then get the next four attached here. Let's do that right here. A little bit further down here. There we go. Extend them as well. That will make sure that our little SIPA power base has always a little bit of power to run and transmit. Speaking of which, let's get that out uh, and get that in the right position. That should be okay. Passage, so we can attach it and it doesn't fling around everywhere. Let's go get the rest of the equipment. We need this and this and this. And of course those guys. Okay, let's get those guys set up, make sure we put it into the right direction, no, it's too far. And another one, put that here, and the last one, oh, what's, <laughs> damn it. Nah, that's not it. That's what I wanted. And I think I haven't attached this one. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be a little bit finicky. Back to the wrench, uh, the screwdriver. And then... I think it was... This part has only one attach mode. Um... Was it like this? Yes, it was! There we go. That on. And of course, some are needed for the power base as well. So let's put them on. There we go. Now we just need to link them. Link. Now you can see I have a little bit of a um, string here, a cable attached to the back. All I need to do, right click on here and link it. And it's going to have power. Link that in. Okay. Last one. Should be good now. Auto transmit is on. Good. Next thing. I need our little scientist. Because only the scientist can calibrate the instruments. Gonna open up the inventory. We don't eat that anymore. And put that away. And then, since we don't need it anymore, release. We're gonna leave that behind. 
<laughs> we don't need it. Okay, and board, board, no, board. Stop being so difficult. It's not as easy as it looks. Whew. Okay. Time for our scientists to shine. Okay, careful here. You're gonna calibrate this. Now the calibration level, you see, it's only 75% and that is because we are not um, leveled up with our little scientists here. So the calibration has a um, lower value. Some of them will be 100%, but um, as the level... Let's turn that off. As the level of your scientist um, climbs, you can over calibrate them, so to say, so you get more than 100%. So the better your scientist does, the better the calibration level. As you can see, we have 125% in here. That's because this one is usually um, the lowest level. Okay, let's go and activate this and begin all experiments. And since auto transmit is on, it's going to automatically transmit everything back to Kerbin, which is awesome. Oh, 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 I forgot, I forgot. Something very, very important. First of all, we need an EVA report. We need a surface sample. And we're going to plant a flag. What shall we name it? How about Valentina's Landing? That's good enough. Back to the ship. Step up, just to be on the safe side. Should be in the right direction. Uh, let's turn around a little bit. Let's see. Can I? Yes, I can. Good. Okay, but first let's go and leave Minmus behind. You've set up what we've come here to do. You've done what we set out to do. Let's go back to orbit. Ah, uh, that's a little bit high. No matter. No matter. Slightly inclined. Gonna warp here. Time warp stopped. Okay. That should do though. But then do we get here? Yeah, 25 minutes. Well. Ah, uh, no, not maneuver. Oh, yes, maneuver, of course. Circularization. There we go. And while we're up in space now, let's see. Only high orbit, okay. How about you? Sent that. Now, how about the RPWS antenna? Should be here somewhere. Now, it's magnetometer boom. There it is. Nothing? Okay. 
then how about the science junior? I should give us something. Yep, a hundred. How about a little goo? Forty. Not bad. I can live with that. How about a crew report? Mm-hmm, twenty! Let's get turned around properly. 23 minutes. Let's walk there. Burn us one second. Once that is done, I'm gonna pump the fuel from the landing stages to into the center stage. Oh well, a little bit of a shooting here. Shouldn't matter too much. There we go. Fuel pumping! Let's see. Uh, I think I did that wrong. There we go. In and in. Doesn't work? Really? Really? It should work. Oh, cripes. Really? Nah, yeah, doesn't work. For crying out loud. Ah, enable crossfeed. I knew there was something. So now it should work. Good. Let's try a little bit more. Everything into the center stage. Almost there. Just one more. That's good enough. We can separate this. Beautiful. That's how it should have been last time around. So, Kerbin. Let's go to Kerbin. I think I needed to burn from this side. It's been a little while. So let's try it out. Huh, okay. <laughs> Wrong side. How about here? Getting closer. Okay, let's try this again. It's been a while since last time I returned from Minmus. I suppose that is not it. How about here? Ah, this one was it. Good. I just have to look for the periapsis. Really? Oh, great. I've already overshot. <sighs> for crying out loud. I have to set it new. Okay, that's 4.35. 
236. 30, uh, 73. That is 0. 27. Still 0. 2. 3. 12. Yeah, 10 is okay. So we have to burn. We're gonna go up till here. It gives us enough time to get ourselves aligned with the node. So we can burn. Why are you? Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm an idiot. They need some charge here. You have to do it on, on the third pass, I suppose. Wait, why is electric charge draining so much? It should be getting enough. It's draining like crazy. Sun exposure zero? How can that be? Hello? Why is sun exposure zero? That can't be. Strange, strange, strange. They were getting energy just now. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what this is. <laughs> but. Let's see if we can do this. We are getting electric charge from somewhere. Ah, damn it. Not my day today. We should be able to do this. Still be able to. How are we looking? Mm. Have to turn around a little bit. Make sure we don't come in too steep. That's 53, that's a little bit too high. That's a little bit low. <laughs> Gotta be careful with the thrusting here. 11.4, that's okay. So, while we are in space here, gonna pick my scientist and go on the EVA. We need to collect some science after all. Hmm, EVA report. Sure. Keep that. Uh, camera, what the? Where the heck? Oh, there it is. Whoa, what is going on?
That didn't go as planned. Okay, take you first. Take the pressure data, the temperature. Take the data from the science junior here. Oh, what is going on? That's not how it should be. That doesn't work properly. Um, no, not this. It's on the other side. Take the data. Then one above. Take the data. You forgot to please use this one. Can we still do that? Oh, okay. What about... Ah, it's happening again. It, uh, what the hell? What about you? Oh no. Yeah, take the data. Anything else? I don't think so. So let's try to get back on board. And warp back to Kerbin. Mm, getting closer. And it looks like we are going to land on the night side again. And we still have no electric charge, which is quite vexing. I should have put in other solar panels. Can I turn this anyway? No. Didn't think so. Oh, no, no, no. That's a little bit too much. But... The electricity generated from the engine was just enough to get us pointed into retrograde. Are we looking now? That should be okay. Almost. Let's burn a little bit to get some electricity here. Okay, detach that. Oh god. This is not going to end well, I think. The capsule is getting a little bit hot. Come on. Get yourself aligned. Come on. Retrograde. Don't burn the... No. Don't. I can't lose to... No. At least the parachute. Gotta save it. Uh, this is working. I think. Okay, that was the ablator. Oh, heat shield is gone. I think we needed that. Just a hunch, but I think a heat shield is kinda important for a ship, but I guess not that much. Still made it. At least I can trigger the parachute and uh, the parts of our ship are 
<laughs> Scattered everywhere. Looks like we're coming down on land. Hopefully not on the mountain. A landing on a mountainside is no fun at all. Unless you love sliding. Okay, let's speed this up a little bit more. Already over time. How's it looking? Okay, parachute is opening. We are still a little bit fast. Shouldn't be too much of a problem though. It's only 10 meters per second. Okay, careful now. Come on! Yay! <laughs> it survived! <laughs> Alright. Recover that vessel. Let's take a look. How much science do we get out of this? 864. Awesome. And we've leveled up quite a bit. Wow. So, R&D. Let's see, we could do with a little bit more reliable solar panels here. Shrouded solar array. Radio telescope, solar array wing. That is awesome. Oh, well, let's get that. Better electricity. Always welcome. Oh, nice. The wolves. Especially later on, these valves will be awesome for um, shuttles. That way, we can dump fuel in space. And we're getting here, from Station Science, the first two experiment pods. We've got some kibble storages, a research lab, spectrum spectrometer, zoology bay, and we get a little bit more ASAT tools to play around with. I suppose that would be good enough as well. That would be nice. We have to hitchhike a storage container. That is awesome. Uh, miniaturization? No. Advanced aerodynamics. Hmm. Airstream protective shell, that wouldn't be too bad. What else do we have? Propulsion systems. What about fuel? Oh yeah, we definitely need fuel. Mm, not enough science. Okay, okay. I suppose we have to do without that. Then again, I'd like to have it anyway, because of the larger fuel tanks. So I guess we have to collect a little bit more science in the next episode. And warp to morning. Okay, so I'd say uh, <laughs> that was a rather amusing uh, little trip to Minmus. As always, I thank you for watching. I hope you, liked you, uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to support the channel, then please consider to like, share and subscribe. And I hope I'm going to see you next time. Until then, stay safe.